Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our national officials for this match. First referee, Fernando Velarde. Second referee is Joy De Imus. And now let's meet the starters. First, for the Akari Chargers. Setter number six, team captain, Michelle Cobb. Outside spiker number five, Gretel Soltones. Middle blocker number 10, Ezra Matrigal. Middle blocker number 14, Fifi Sharma. Outside spiker number 17, Faith Nisperos. And opposite hitter number 24, Eli Soyun. Starting libero is number one, Bang Pineta. And the head coach for Akari is Rafi Musuela. And now the starters for the PLTT High Speed Hitters. Opposite hitter number five, Erika Santos. Outside spiker number six, Sammy Davison. Setter number nine, Kim Fajardo. Middle blocker number 10, Matt Joy Baron. Middle blocker number 13, Del Palomata. Outside spiker number 17, Viola Ceballos. Starting libero and team captain number eight, Kat Arado. Head coach for PLTT is Ralph Rickaport. This match is held under the supervision and regulation of the Kings and Amusements Board. It is Akari versus PLTT. This is the BBL, the heart of volleyball. Welcome back, volleyball fans. It is a Great Volleyball Tuesday, it's hot outside to stay in and just enjoy the action here from the Phil Sports. We've got the Akari Chargers going up against BLDT High Speed Hitters and you're looking for San Domingo and the starters and we reported that she will not be playing today from among the PLDT High Speed Hitters. And pretty much the same starters that we've seen in the past games except uh, Ezer uh, uh, Madrigal is going to be starting today. And surprisingly, then it's Santiago Manapat will be coming off the bench for the Akari Chargers. And as for the high speed hitters, they really want to sprint to at least eight wins because uh, I've tried to compute. Uh -huh. <laughs> ilang wins ba yung kailangan ng mga teams to be able to enter the final four? Uh, eight wins would be a good uh, record, but if you really want a sure slot in the semis, it would be to go for at least nine wins. Right. Maybe tiebreakers for the things that. Um, so we'll never know. But again, they just need to treat every game as a must-win game. Yeah, of course, PLDT in a much better position with only one loss they've incurred so far. And they also score first here in our opener. Talked about Savannah Davison early also, how she has become the difference here for PLDT. Soyud is starting today as the opposite. And a uh, mini rally there for point number two, won by PLDT. Point run for the high speed hitters. And in the past few conferences, they've been in the top uh, of the digging and receiving categories, but right now, they're seventh and fifth respectively. So I guess teams have found a way na iwasan talaga si Kat Arado in those aspects. Parang ganun na nga. Ang i-scout mo dito sa PLDT yung defense nila eh. Which really is their strength. But now, like we reported, they are showing how they are a force on the offense. That's three points in a row for the high-speed hitters. Davison is on the board. Akari, as we know, is a, uh, also a rejuvenated and a fortified team in this conference. We're seeing some players still uh, waiting in the wings to actually get to play. 
you know, what we remind our audience that see Justine Hazareno is actually part of uh, Akari now. He's just not going to be seeing action until perhaps uh, the next conference or two conferences out. But that is an acquisition for Akari also that will boost their offense, uh, their defense. And uh, when they joined the PVL, we noticed na kulang lang siguro ng ilang pieces yung Akari. But with all of their acquisitions in the offseason, um, I would say na kompleto na uh -huh. yung ng Akari to be able to build a good program. It's really about adapting to the system of yeah. Coach Rafi mm -hmm. and connecting with the other players on the floor as well. Right, it's the gelling. That really just comes in time and with more experience playing together. Of course, there's Gretzel Soltones with that good reception. She is definitely an asset also as she scores point number three for Akari. So just like that, nakahabol na rin ang Akari. And let's bring in Lexi Rodriguez for an early report. Go, Lexi. Well, Chiki and Neil, we talked about earlier in the pregame, and as you repeated again and again, that the PLDT have, you know, built their reputation on their defensive aspect. But on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters, they built their identity as well around their best player, Kat Arado. But she, she told me na napakalaking baga yung naging addition ng players kasi na cover nila yung scoring department ng PLDT. She says it's a huge boost in confidence that the attitude of these new players adds on to the strong culture that PLDT already has. Sobrang laking factor din daw for their past games and they're really really looking forward to be to bringing that momentum onto this game against Akari so watch how they put this vision to life on the Filipinas live app anytime and anywhere in the world now back to the panel thanks so much Lexi as Erica Santos there goes down the line is she going to get that point it was outside but somebody it touched touch, the net yeah. on the side of the Chargers I think it was Gretchen Soltones that will go uncontested for now and a service error there. First one we're seeing from PLDT. Free point for Akari. Michelle Cobb is a setting for Akari today. You mentioned at the top of the coverage that the setters also, they're still looking to see how, uh, what the best really combination of players would be on the Akari side. An ace on the other hand from Akari by Ellie Soyuz. Ceballos was already in an awkward position. And when you jump on the receive, malaki yung chance na hindi mo talaga makokontrol yung pasa. So you have to be able to establish yourself first. The ball should always be in front of you so that you can control that pass. It's a better pass. But uh, miscue on the side of Palomata and Fajardo on that quick attack. We take for granted those one-handed sets because we see those more often. But those are the more difficult ones to to perform. Actually, it's just talagang gumagaling at tumataas ang kalibre na ating mga setters. Davison from the right side. Good dig there from Soyud. Cobb looking for Gretzel. This one again, and that one too sharp. The angle too much there, and that sails out. A point for Akari, who is now at six all. And this is uh, largely from the errors we've seen consecutively from the PLDT side, Neil. Soyud has been serving well. She was successful in that last rally in getting PLDT out of system. And currently, Akari is just targeting Davison on the receive. Saw it from back row, and that one falls inside. And Akari now in the lead. Seeing um, the high-speed hitters actually ironically taking their time, not very speedy in terms of their uh, getting their game going. Slower than usual, and then what we're expecting. Especially uh, in the backcourt defense, medyo late magreact mm. here in the first set. Santos again, Pineda with the up, and look at that effort by Akari. Good chase there by Nesperos, but just falling short. Okay, for effort for Akari, but that point will go to the high-speed hitters. Oh, that pancake. 
Kate got defense there, but Michelle Kopp got the better of Kat Arado that time, and Akari will get to eight points first in our first technical timeout. Plus Astig Susports. And we are back here at the Bill Sports Arena. Jiki Robuno with Bill Flores and Lexi Rodriguez. This is our first day of action in the 2023 BBL All Filipino Conference after the Holy Week. But we are right in the middle of our tournament and things are really getting heated up. Akari taking the lead after trailing in the first part of the first set. Evening things out here now. Palomata with her first point. Got some tall players here on the court. Of course, Del Palomata, one of the tallest players in the conference in the entire league here. Chargers, PLDT really using their serving as a weapon. Not just in the, in this game, but also in their previous outings. They've already registered five wins here in the first round of competition. And they're showing Akari that they're also good defenders at Harapan ng net. That was a kill block against the slide attack of Kiki Sharma. Blocking from the high speed hitters. They're number six in blocking. So in that area, mas namamayag pag ang Akari. But individually, we know na malalakas din naman ito. Joy, Ma Joy Baron, of course, a new member of the PLDT high speed hitters. Erica Santos with her tricks. We know her to be a very wily, very smart player. We have timeout Akari. ayam Coach uh, Rafi Masuela just pointing out uh, some technicalities in their formation. And uh, Akari has been out of system a couple of times early on in this first set. So automatic, um, of force yung setter to actually set up the wings or that back row attack. You know, see Lexi mentioning how these teams work on uh, these uh, out-of-system plays even in training. I guess they will simulate an out-of-system play and see how they will react to it. Which is important because it happens so much in in game. And a rally here, a push for Majoy Baron, and that is going to fall in. That's point number 12 for PLDT. are now uh, starting to pull away. Ah. Here in the first set, a four point lead for PLDT. And. Uh, for Akari, kailangan talaga nila magkaroon ng steady pass so that Michelle Cobb will have an easier time in uh, choosing their point of attack. Oh! 
<laughs> well, that's actually a break for Akari because the confusion there on the side of PLD, I mean, those things, they do happen. It's not a crucial time in the game yet, so pwede mo pa 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 accept mo pa yan. And what a smart move. Better removed from Viola Zebalios already with three points. Uh, one of the veterans. So not very high speed hitter. We know that she's a very capable power hitter, but <laughs> in that last uh, rally, she just used her smarts. Going over the block of Mitch Cobb. You know, you can see that Faith Desperos has been checked. Talagang, uh, she's one of the players that they've scouted. Talking about Faith Nespero, she was uh, the only player who had uh, double digits in their previous outing. 12 points mm. for uh, Faith Nespero. Yeah, check that. The Faith already has one point, but we see that she's been getting a lot of balls. Pero na check. Sebalius again, just try to place the ball. Fajardo! That's stop. Specialty of the house yeah. from Kim Fajardo. And she's one of those setters who likes to score. Sometimes setters would really ask for a ball na medyo malapit sa net so that they can actually go I for so. these uh, dump balls. Oh, another placement play coming from Akari this time. Eli Soyud, point number four. Is currently the top scorer for yeah. Akari Chargers. We have uh, three players who have uh, one point each, the Soltones, Michelle Cobb, and the Faith Esperos. It's a good decision for Coach Rafi to start Eli Soyud today. And hang time from a Joy Baron there. Yeah, to her six foot, six feet, but she's a Joy, 5'11. So, Tones, uh, too much on that one. One point and PLDT now with a five point lead at our second technical timeout. Sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Some of uh, the players of the Crisscross King Crunchers also watching TVL action. You have Rex Intal, Kim Malabunga, and Ish Polvorosa. So much volleyball going on. Of course, my init din ang action doon sa Spikers Turf. And UAAP also right in the middle of their season as well. So volleyball fans is having a, a lot of uh, access to a lot of games. Siyempre, whether that be in Filipinas Live 
Yes. Or one sports RP DV also. So serving 16, and that is a quick point for Akari. So Akari just needs to get a run now. They are getting their points and spurts. And Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Masalubong ng Bayan. Rachel Sultan, it will be crucial in this match. We know that she is uh, one of those players na all around with capabilities. She can receive, she can defend well, but she's also a good scorer. Mm -hmm. Saw you there with the off speed. Erica Santos goes. Good save. A good try there by Despero. So close to the net. So Tones couldn't keep the ball in play. The Chargers have committed a couple of unforced errors already here in the first set. Oh! The net helping out the cap there. That is going to be an ace for Kim Fajardo with already two points. We're saying already because setters usually keep their scoring to a minimum. And as a lahati pala tayo ng first set. So Tones blocked there. Davison will go. And it seems like PLDT is uh, they're holding off on the strong attack. Really just placing balls for now. They've been varying their attacks mm -hmm. to loosen up the blocking of Akari. Okay. 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 Get seven-day premium access to NBA, PBA, UAA, PPDL, and other leagues and exclusive shows when you download Bilibina's live app. Register now for free. Coach uh, Rafi was pointing out that uh, the plays are just too simple on the side of the Akari Chargers. They've been going to their left pin a lot. And uh, the high-speed hitters have been getting a lot of good rebounds. So yeah. they're actually in control when the things are transition plays. So you have to force the defenders to actually move. Yeah, good point there, Neil. Kahit na hindi sila score on their blocks. Like we said, number six in blocking. As opposed to Akari or in the number two position with... Uh, See, Vinden is coming in for the first time today, no? He's been Santiago Manabat now in the game. PLDT is able to challenge the offense and slow the ball down. Tapos, eto na, paiirali na nila yung opensa nila na. Sinabi nga natin, napalakas. Number one in spiking for PLDT. Of course, Savvy Davidson is the fourth best scorer. And a service error there. For PLDT, a chance here for Akari, who needs to really build up a run. Let's see if Dindin Santiago Manabat can uh, gain momentum here in the tail end of set number one. Of course, Jaja Marginot is now going to be calling the shots on the other side. Fresh off the bench. Service error there. Malita na na error. Marginot looking for Dindin, and that is good. And the drop ball. Seeing a lot of drop balls here in this matchup. That's her version of a soft touch. Itong mga attackers natin, they always check the backward defense and opponents first before they actually think of a plan. Mm -hmm. And daming nangyayaring decision-making uh, mid-air, mini-seconds lang yung agwat nun. Yeah. And uh, it really shows the IQ and court sense of our athletes here in the PVL. Erika Santos blocked that time. Calf will give her another chance. And again, the off-speed read well there by Santiago Manabat. Nisperos challenged again. Erika Santos a third time. 
That one goes over and out, and that's an error. Sayang yun for Akari Neal. Masyadong nanggit. <laughs> well, DP Sharma saw a lot of uh, holes in the defense na ng PLDP. That was her opportunity to put that ball away, but it just sailed out. Sizable lead for PLDT in this first set. Seven-point advantage. Three points away from winning. Set one. And that one's called outside. Again. Another error on the side of the Chargers. They have been giving a lot of three points to the side of PLDT. Steady serving by Del Palomata. We saw that run when she was at the serve, the last rotation. Oh, that one went right back, and that's good on Viti Sharma. Number one blocker of the league finally gets a kill block against PLDT. Power tip doesn't work for Majoy Baron. More substitutions on the side of the Chargers. Shano will be serving for Fifi Sharma in this rotation. I mean, that is a heck of an accomplishment for a rookie like Fifi Sharma to top the blocking category. I mean, there's Tolentino, Nunag that she's bested, number two and three. And at a 0.65 average per set, 13 kill blocks so far for Fifi Sharma. That's a good first ball. Erika Santos. Dug there by Dindin. Get the set point first. 24 serving 16. Santiago Manapa with the cross, and that looked good. And we heard that too, so she put all power on that one. Manapa saving set point, but there are many more, so this is going to be a, an uphill climb for Akari. Jump serve is good. Good first pass by Arado. Oh, wow! Nanaig na naman itong mga smart plays ni Viola Ceballos on that drop ball. The tip is her fourth point and the 25th for her team. And that gives the high-speed hitters the first set win. Ceballos actually went for a lot of soft touches in this break. And uh, right now, she is the top scorer for the high-speed hitters. You can really see the balance when it comes to the scoring. Four players already have three points. And they will take uh, first blood here in our first game of our doubleheader.
It was close at the beginning of this first set, but after the second technical timeout, we saw PLDT pulling away, eventually winning this first set handily, 25-17. When it comes to being in system, mas naging in system talaga yung PLDT. They were in control uh, pagdating sa net defense and in the serving line. That's why they were able to get more points on the attacks. And as for the Akari Chargers, this has been their problem throughout this season. Yung passing nila, uh, it was inconsistent in the first frame. They had a lot of shank passes. That's why it uh, led to um, uh, miscommunication errors on their side. And here in number two, they're looking to be able to communicate more because uh, communication was also lacking on the side of the Chargers in set number one. They had a lot of opportunities to put the ball away, but uh, it was just the, the PLD that uh, was uh, in control. 14 attacks compared to the nine of the Akari Chargers uh, when it comes to blocking. Yes, they did get a one kill block each, but mas maraming nakuhang rebounds yung PLD yeah. compared sa Akari. And as for the unforced errors, uh, eight points ang naibigay ng Akari. And that was the difference in the set score, 17 to 25. So eight of those points came up from the errors of yeah. Akari. Right. And we do know that blocking is one of the strengths of the tall Akari girls. But we have yet to feel the presence of Fifi Sharma on the court today having a little bit of a struggle without said Domingo there also complementing her efforts no, at the net. And uh, the blocking really of Akari has not shown yet. Hindi natin nararamdaman at hindi pa siya nakatulong so far in the first set. Let's see if things change here in the second frame. And this is also another problem. Dave Desperos has been trying now from the left pin, now trying from elsewhere on the court from back row, but uh, she's hitting the net. So Desperos is still looking for her rhythm. Sultana is going up. Kat Arado there with her pass. It's actually a set. <laughs> So when they lose that window of opportunity to score, pukunin talaga nila in for Kim Pajardo. She scores off the uh, off her blocks, off her serves, and from time to time she will go up for these one-two plays. There will be a substitution for uh, Coach Rafi Mosuela. Erika Agas will be replacing Faith Nisperos in that outside hitter position. And we like what we've been seeing from Fiona Sabalio so far, just showing how she is an all-around player with uh, a lot in her arsenal. There, she's showing her defensive prowess. Pero yung mga options niya, dumadrap shot si Fiona today. That one is inside, and Sultones will score again. Someone has to step up and uh, take on the responsibility of being the top scorer for Akari. We are expecting Rachel Soltones to raise that role alongside uh, Dindin Santiago Manabat. That's a good serve there. High speed hitters caught off system there. Manabat. That one is going to fall inside, so that's two straight points for Akari. That's the third for Dindin Manabat, who came in win midway through the first set, so already making her presence felt. That is a tough one for Davison. So Donis with a smart play there on the second ball with a tip. Double substitution with Maragetot and Dindin Santiago Manabal coming in seems to be working for Akari. Let's bring in 
Lexi Rodriguez with a report. Go, Lexi. Well, Chiki and Mia, the Akari's mantra for today is to charge back into action, but perhaps, you know, it isn't quite shocking enough to grab that first set in their end, but one of the things that they really need to adjust this second set is their defense. You see, it's been a minute since we talked about the libera of the pictures, and we know that Bang Pineda is an assistant coach for the Soaring Falcons, and she says that one of her role models is actually Coach Tina Salah. Bukod pa nga daw sa words of wisdom ni Coach Tina, napapatibay daw niya yung loob ni Bang, lalo na when they lose a set or a game like this one. Well, before we get back into some PBL action, this support is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app. You can watch PBL games anytime and anywhere in the world. Back to you, Chiquinio. Thanks a lot, Lexi. Well, that was a service A straight to Bank Pineda. And nice. Joy Baron now has five points. She is tied as the top scorer with Kim Fajardo. <laughs> she has been attacking a lot <laughs> in this game from uh, Kim Fajardo. So that, that adds to the conclusion uh -huh. of the things net even. Right. Kaya yung mga setters uh, in encourage na mga coaches na mag jump set every time and of course having problems uh, on the side of Akari. Yes, three straight points for the high speed hitters there of Majoy Baron. He's having an AJ there to serve this line. It's a good serve again. It's out of system, Sultones. Davison will go up. But she gets it over. And that goes outside, no touch. And Dindin Santiago Manabat will get her fourth point. There are three players with four points on the side of Akari. It's El Soyo, Dindin Santiago Manabat, and Rachel Sopones. We haven't seen. Uh, the activation from the middle, yeah. Because Akari, it's really because of the passing. So, para niya talaga ng set sa pupunta sa mga wing spikers. Arena Plus, Astig Sa Sports. 8-4 is the count in the second set. PLDT up by four. You mentioned Neil the absence of uh, middle block, uh, middle blocker action. No, wala masadyo ng in the middle. Shot, Jaja. Not. We have uh, been very consistent every time na humihingi sila mm -hmm. ng good pass from the receivers in the backcourt of Akari. Talaga, as setters, you always have to be vocal kung saan mo gusto mapunta yung first pass. Kim Farmer, serving for PLTT. Meantime, Kim Fajardo, already with five points in this game, showing us she is just as lethal as an offensive player. Oh, good try there by Ceballos. Down the line, perfectly uh, targeted by Gagas. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Baya. The first few games of the Akari Chargers, so wala sa roster si Erika Raaga. She was a reserve, but uh, recently we've seen uh, good performances from uh, Erika Raaga. So that is a good decision for Coach Rafi Mosuel to actually field her in. Cut down the line, just went a little outside. And Akari again will have a chance to play catch up here. They're only down by two. 
they should take advantage of the fact that hindi pa rin masyadong pumuputok si Davison dito sa game na to. And she is checked there. One more chance for Savvy. This time she gets it off the block. She's right on cue. Talking about Savvy Davison. I think we can really credit the center. Si Kaf has been able to distribute the ball quite well on the side of the high speed hitters. Pagdating naman sa game plan ng Akari, we know that uh, they will really build their wall against Savvy Davison. Kaya magiging crucial yung ball distribution ni Kim Fajardo. She has been uh, doing excellent in that yeah. aspect. And we have been asking for this release of action from the middle. Titi Sharma was given the ball and she converts. That's a good serve. Davison took care of that one. Oh, blocking. Look at that. And Maraginot now with the offensive block. One more time on that. It's all timing. I mean, we know the height disparity there. Maraginot is only about 5'4", but it's all about the timing. Even Mitch Cobb is actually a good blocker, oh. I would say. She always has that timing on point. And even with the um, height disparity, mm -hmm. nakakuha din siya ng mga defensive touches. Slowly but surely, Akari is finally getting their rhythm yes. here in the second set. A good pick up there by Pineda. Back row attack. Well read by PLDT, but actually the ball will fall to hit the net. So nahirapan din si Kaf to keep it in play. And now Akari just even things out at nine points apiece. I mean, it's actually palpable. You can feel it, the medyo yung energy is picking up on the side of the, the Chargers. Oh, except Del Palomata just uh, being a party pooper here, just spoiling the fun for Akari. That's the son of the block yeah. <laughs> in this match. That's a great looking attack there. That's one of the easiest points of attack for a low blocker like Del Palomata. It may be simple, na a quick lang, uh, but when she gets that height, she gets every time she gets that elevation, it's almost an automatic point yeah. for the high speed hitter. PLDT back on top. Oh, first challenge that we see today. The ball in, ball out challenge. Requested by the Kari Chargers. So far, Majoy Baron is the top scorer for the high speed hitters with six points, followed by Kim Fajardo with five. And impressive, that's definitely inside. Challenge will be successful for Akari. Official score will be 10 all. That's a good challenge. It was very close to the line, so. Good serve. Davidson with a nice pass. And the one, two, three. She's in system for the high speed hitters. Point number seven for Akari Baron. Three aces. So Donis and she's picked it up too. So Donis now with five points. Utilizing her power now, challenging the defense of Catarado, getting past the double block of the high speed hitters. Number one blocker of the league. Also a good server. Back row attack for Agas. And that gets away from Erika Santos. That's a point for Akari. They're even at 12. Much better showing here. Keeping in step with PLDT. So far is Akari. It all started with that heavy serve of Fifi Sharma. PLDT was forced to give a free ball to Akari. 
Now, mas malinis yung nagiging transition and counter-attack ng Akari. Good pass. Saltones timing it. That falls in. That classic cut shot from Saltones. We see that often. So Saltones uh, finally heating up here in uh, our match. Two-point lead for uh, Akari. First timeout called by Coach Ralph. <laughs> just going straight to the point every time out yeah direction na gusto niyang puntahan, alam na alam niya talaga. And even uh, yung reminders dun sa second stringer for the double sub, sinisiksik niya dun sa mm -hmm. timeout na yun. He's one of the coaches na talagang napakasipag when it comes to scouting, yeah. checking the numbers and stats. That's a good first ball. Sabalios and she gets a chance to score. Well deserved for Fiona Sabalios with her fifth point now. Timeout from a PLDT. The focus nung timeout na yun, sinabi lang ni Coach Rald na wala namang problema sa atake. Medyo nagiging shaky tayo when it comes to the pass. Eh. And when they were able to get a better pass, they were able to convert. Oh, the break's definitely going PLDT's way after that timeout that Coach Rob called. And Joy Baron already with her eighth point. And she wants to better her 11-point output against Farm Fresh, the last game they played before the break. Buhay Pambola, but this is going to be a free ball a chance for PLDT. Fajardo pushing it out to Davison. Good blocking, slowing things down. Akari gets a chance. Oltones is checked. Back row attack from Dindin. Santiago Manabat. Davis hit again. And that one is called inside. And the angle on that shot really is very hard to pick up Davison scoring point number five. What an angle from uh, Davison. Every time she's uh, in the front line, pagkaharap niya si Maraginot. But the last, she would really target the block of Jaja. But uh, she just showed everybody that she can still attack that sharp cross court angle. Well, that's a tough one. So Tones under the ball that time. So that will be PLDT's 15th point. And two point lead now for the high speed hitters. A much closer game here in the second set. Back row attack again, Din Din, and she will get the point. And again, the advantage of a, a tall opposite player. See, Din Din Santiago Manaba did not start this game, so Coach Rafi tried something new, but uh, si Jaja and Din Din, this uh, combination of players is what is working for Akari. You will get the 16 points first. We have a timeout.
16 14 PLDT with a lead in after the second technical timeout. But as we mentioned, Neil, uh, closer second set here, Akari fighting harder and more action in the middle. There were times that they were successful yung counter run ng Akari. At some point, they were able to establish their own two point lead. But now it's uh, PLDT on top by two. Joy Baron has been having a good game so far with eight points. And she is getting a lot of balls also in the middle, but at the serve. She had some aces already. Ilana Basi Tatluna, ang service aces di ba Joy? Good pick up there by Jaja. Soltones dug by Ceballos. Davidson goes again. This time Pineda picks up that cut shot. Oh, come on. What a hit from Dindin Santiago Manabat. Targeting Majoy Baron down the line. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang pagpunto si Dindin Manabat since pinasok siya. She already has seven points, a high score for Akari so far. You have to commend the, the positioning of Bang Pineda in that mm -hmm. last sequence. It Good was just. an excellent dig against Savi Davison, and now they get a kill block against the combination play of PLDT. So good in-game adjustments we're seeing from the side of Akari. And really the signs of a good libero. You know, we got a couple of good ones here, Kat Arado and Bang Pineda. Hindi nagda-dive. Ibig sabihin, na-anticipate nila kung saan sila pupusisyon. Del Palomata stopped this time, but not good enough. And that's her third point. Again, it's hard to fight height, and that is what Del has. Here against taller middle blocker, sometimes pinapauna mo sila tumalon mm -hmm. before you actually commit to the block. Raagas pushes the ball in. Chance here for Erika Santos to counter. And she succeeds. Erika Santos making her first point here in the second set. She started strong. Erika Santos scoring early in the first set. But she is consistent. I mean, she will always go for the block to slow the ball down. And she's starting a lot this tournament for the high speed hitters. It's stopped by Fajardo. Santos again will go. Pinada to Jaja. Back row attack, Soltones. Chance ball again for Akari. Combination attack, well read by Del. Good pick up by Kat Arado. Santos, and she will score. Good rally there, Neil. Erika Santos targeting the right hand of the middle blocker of Akari to get that through. A lot of good saves also on the side of the LBD. See, Kaf had a lot of good ones there. And here is Ano, right? And here is Din. Din, get up. Get up. Let's go. 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 Okay, emergency kay ano na, kay Erika. Okay, tara, receive lang na maayos, receive lang maayos para ma-execute yung maayos yung play. Okay, go. Just three, just three. Receive lady, tumba yun na. Akari! Chargers! Same reminders from Coach Rafi Mosuela, it's really the receiving of Akari that has to improve here in this game. And kanina, ang daming balikan ng bola, but the setters have been going to the wing spikers of Akari. Kaya yung mga blockers ng PLDT hindi na rin sumasabay talaga mm -hmm. sa middles ng Akari. So from time to time, kahit hindi naman all the time, kailangan mapakagat ng uh, setters yung middles if they do want to get past the solid defense of the high-speed hitters. Oh, that one went outside. So they're trying to do there. You know, we're seeing a lot of smart plays here. Both teams displaying their high 
volleyball IQ, you know, just really being very picky, very uh, discriminating. Hindi lang, hindi lang puro power ng power. Ragas. That one was all power, getting it past the block. That's four points for Erika Ragas. All in the second set. And Akari is still in a good position here, only down by three. They gave up that first set, 25-17, for those of you just joining us now. And nagpalit na din ng middle blocker itong si Coach Rafi. It's Rosel Baliton in for uh, Ezra Madrigal. And target the girl who just came in. Good idea there by Del Palomata. Getting it right back to Baliton there. Pardo continues to activate their middles here in this match. A broken play here. And Sabal just hits that one outside. He can do with that underhanded set from Kath. She was uh, under the ball, didn't get enough <laughs> space. And Akari already looking better in the second set with 18 points against PLDT's 21. Good first ball. Palomata. She's dug there. And again, it's Palomata. Second time. The charm for her. Consecutive points from Del Palomata. It's the same place. It's just the execution. Unstoppable. Uh, a single blocker would not be enough to completely stop Del Palomata. Yeah. Unless, basang basa mo kung sasha pupunta. Also consistent serving for Dell. Sebadio setting up Erica Santos there. Manabat setting up Raagas. <laughs> we had some uh, broken plays, but still effective for Erica Raagas. Five points already. Providing the spark for the Akari Chargers. For the game and set numbers. And immediately, na habol niya yung production ng ibang uh, teammates niya. Eli Soyad will come back and uh, she will replace Nit Santiago Banabat. Mitch Cobb also doing the setting duties for the high, uh, the Akari Chargers. Akari needs a mini run here. No more time for side out games here, for side out. A side out game here towards the tail end. And that's a good one. Erica Santos this makes things a little bleaker for the Chargers. Timeout to Gari. Fatty will burn another timeout. Let's listen in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Then, advance tayo. What time block? May na-block na ba, Coach? Ha? What time block? What time block? P, wake up. Kaya ito, kaya ito, ha? Kaya natin ang block. Okay? Dahan-dahanin natin. One stop. One stop tayo nung ano, ng K1. Score tayo. Pag tayo ang K2, block tayo. Harga sa serve. Harga sa serve. Okay, let's go! Okay! Harder! Again, as a team, Akari is number two in the block category. We do have the number one blocker in Fifi Sharma. But in uh, this game, uh, mas kontrolado na PLDT net defense. Again, as always, they've done their homework, they've done their research against Akari, and now they're just executing their game plan flawlessly. Oh, that's a tough one. Erica Santos pulls off a service ace at a very crucial time. Setting up PLDT for set point again. And she has five that she can burn. And just right before that, we saw San Domingo again. Those of you just joining the coverage now, San Domingo is out on a minor knee injury, sitting this particular game out. Sultana is keeping Akari alive here with her down the line. 
Yun din yung hinahanap Neil di Nico Traffy, the quick conversions coming from Akari. Score agad. Lalo na pag nasa receiving end sila because uh, when they commit these shank passes, the tendency yung Akari na tuloy-tuloy yung magiging run ng PLDT. So, important talaga that they get that one stop. Lalo na pag heavy server yung nasa kabilang side. Every time Masoy Baron is on the service line or Erika Santos, yeah. kailangan makuha na agad ng one stop yung uh, Akari. We're gonna have to remember all of that for the third set because Majoy Baron just ended things here for them. Again, another W for the high-speed hitters. It's 2-0 in sets. 25-20 the score in the second frame. We'll talk more about it after the break. Better showing for Akari in that second set, 25-20, losing it to PLDT. So obviously a better showing, but not enough to get a W. You talked about the adjustments that they needed to make at the latter part of the second set, but they need to apply in the third set here. Akari scored more points with uh, Erika Agas in the rotation. She is uh, currently at the five-point mark, pero malaki pa din yung nagiging contributions ni. Uh, Gretchen Sultones, not just uh, in scoring for Akari, but also on the receiving end. Uh, Akari has uh, struggled in that aspect, but I would say that they perform better in set number two compared to set number one. And uh, here in set number three, they don't have any choice but to yeah. challenge PLDT to a fourth set. In attacking, kanina, nakita naman natin yung difference in set number one. But now, Akari scored more and uh, wala pa masyadong activation sa middle blocker yeah. position na to. So can you just imagine, pag na-activate na ng Akarion, they would really open up a lot of space for the wings. They did score more in the blocking category compared to PLDT, but yun nga lang, they had a lot of unforced errors. Mm -hmm. And uh, PLDT scored four, four aces. aces yeah. And majority of those aces actually came from Majoy Baron. Right, right. And one from... Erika Santos, but yeah, the four aces really mattered 
big time for the high speed hitters. They are the second best serving team in the league, so that's not a surprise. And that's something that Akai really needs to adjust uh, on to be able to get those passes so that they can activate the middle and get the Fifi Sharma to do what Fifi does. I mean, she is the number one blocker in the league. And uh, that goes not only for her offensive blocks, but Shempre, you also take into consideration her uh, contribution as uh, an offensive player, an attacker. And these are things that really Akari needs to work on. Talked about the importance also of performing well from here on out as we are right in the heart of this tournament. Top four advances to the semis. Yeah. Only four teams will make it through to the next round. Ang sikip dun sa ibabaw, eh, no? That is uh, an understatement. <laughs> I mean, uh, one loss lang yung pagitan no mga teams na nasa upper half of the standings. And the Joy just continues to do damage. She is already in double digits. That's a Joy Baron's death point. She's playing an inspired game today. She is uh, the only player in double digits for PLDT. It's it has been an all-around performance for Majoy. She has scored from attacks, from blocks, and from aces. What's unusual is Davison really limited to just six points. The pickup there by Ceballos, and Savi sends it over. Jaja. That one works out. Baliton scores her first point. Again, activating the middles is the way to go. Again for Akari. That's a good start for the Chargers. We first two frames. This is actually the strongest front line for Akari. You have Faith Nisperos on the left side. You have Fifi Sharma. And you also have Dindin Santiago Manabat. So kung tatagal man sila sa isang rotation, ito na yon. A great back setter, Baliton, who I think was a setter and she was playing. She, like, I, if I remember, it's one of the tallest setters we have. But uh, Lexi Rodriguez, let's bring her in. She has a report for us. Thanks, Chiki. Well, Neil, you mentioned that the PLDT high-speed hitters have done the research well, and that's what's making things work for them flawlessly. And speaking of flawless, let's talk about one of the top scoring players in that second set, Majoy Baron. We do know how well she's been recovering. She's been scoring and fitting in the team. But, you know, she told me earlier that she's yet to reach her peak in her entire volleyball career. One thing she realized is that learning never really stops, especially when you're navigating through a different realm or culture here in the PVL. Now, as we head into the third realm of action in this match. This report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app, where you can watch PVL anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to you, Chiki Neil. Thanks a lot for that, Lexi. Also, a lot of these teams, they take to heart what they learn as they meet, you know, they face uh, the teams one by one. Kailangan talaga ganun ka steep yung learning curve dito sa tournament na ito. Davison, that pick up. Look at the Bank Pineda there adjusting so well. El Palomata. Back row attack, Soltones. Well read there by Savvy. And that's outside. Savvy Davison will score her seventh point. There are games that naman kailangan na top scorer si Sabi Davison, especially when your teammates is, uh, are actually performing at a high level. Yeah. Of level. It's a good spread of, of, of points here. And you're right, they know that si Savi Davison is a marked man. So, matalino that si Kaf looking for the other options. Slide attack will work for the Chargers. That will be a point for uh, Fifi Sharma. Nagpapalitan lang din yung uh, setters ng Akari. Mitch Cobb and uh, Maraginot. Serving for the Chargers, Fitness Fellows. Oh, good serve, but Kat Arado gets that one. Great pickup by Bang Pineda. 
seeing a showcase in defense here. Soltones gives it a go. Catarado with a stop. Ceballos gets it past the two-man block. What a brave Viola Ceballos going up against the tall two towers there of Akari. Just uh, challenging the block of Jaja Mariginon. Oh, she it was Jaja there, the, the smaller of the two blockers. Chance here. Maraginot looking for Fifi with a running attack. Is that going to be called inside? Yes, that will be another point of that slide attack. Five serving four. And we're feeling Akari really feeling the uh, pressure here. They really need to bring it at this point. Ceballos, all power there, getting it past the two-man block. Signature, Viola Ceballos. Even before the injury, ganyan na talaga siya umatake. They get exploiting the blocking of Jaja. Mariginot. Paliton with a running attack, stopped there by Fiola. And Bumawi din. Baliton manages to score anyhow. And, uh, for them to achieve spacing, and daming slide attacks ang ginagawa nitong Akari. That move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Oh, smart move. Baraginot on to Kim Pajardo. Wow. The flick of that wrist. Santiago Manabat, the killer. For this is Santiago Manabat. We want to play the work for Kim Fajardo. Yep. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong and Bayan. And quick conversions we're seeing on both sides. Nila pinapatagal. 11 points now for Majoy. Sabalia is also contributing both offensively and defensively. She has seven points. And Nabat going cross court there. Too wide. Still a close uh, third set receive between our two teams. That's a tough one. Saltona is dug there by. Kat Arado, another broken play. Manabat will go, and what a block there. Baron Davidson coming together. And that's eight points for field, DT7 for Akari. We have a technical timeout. Arena Plus, Astig Sports. So far, so good here for Akari. Just a point behind PLDT. This is a must-win third set. The Akari Chargers who also gave up their last game against Choco Mucho. One in three straight. So we mentioned at the top 
of the coverage na medyo Akari having a difficult time. Also kasi nagkasunod-sunod yung mga mahirap na kalaban nila yeah. And uh, it's going to be a tough road, not just for Akari, but also for PLDT because uh, they will also face teams in the upper half of the standings. And even yung mga teams na magiging kalaban, nila nag din mm. ng mga panalo. Oh! A chance here, Davison to put it away. She goes deep. Finding that left corner pocket. Nobody home on the side of the Chargers. Davis is rallying the points here. She's got eight now. Far cry from the usual 20, 21 points that we see from Savannah Davison. But again, credit the rest of her teammates who are responsible for this uh, two set lead of the high speed hitters. Jared Baron keeps some bouncing on her opponents. A violation will be called on Gretchen Sultanes. Now a three point lead for the high speed hitters. <laughs> we got Tito Miko, Alili, <laughs> and IL and RBO. They're enjoying. These are the people behind the scenes, or at least some of them. Our boss, Miko Halili, enjoy the action here. And having a field day, Fajardo scoring her sixth point there. Kim Fajardo is just uh, so offensive minded mm -hmm. today. <laughs> Or para in general, I guess, and she is always as an offensive threat. She will always keep the offense guessing as to what she's going to do, which is where you want your opponents to be, diba? Na tentative, di nila alam kung anong gagawin mo. Service error. They give a point to Akari. Substitution for Coach Rafi Mosuela. Erika Agas will actually check in for Faith Espero. Pumasok. Harda looking for Davison. And she will score. Yeah, not too flashy. Not the highlight attacks, but points just the same for Savannah Davison. Taking it easy. But when you get to finishing kick, you can expect her to put more power into those hits. Again, off system there. Raga sends it over. El Palomata. A little bit of a challenge from Akari, but not good enough. And Bell has been lethal. He's been scoring well against the Akari Chargers. Doesn't seem like there's a challenge. It is actually a timeout. First call. First ball. Okay. So go para. Forward and you na bang. Forward and you na. Oh, cargado sir. Amayin you na. Okay. Para go. Well, this has been the trend in today's game. Dikit yung score ng Akari and PLDT entering that first technical timeout. Then, pagkaroon lang ng um, two-point run, yung PLDT nagdidiretso na sila and uh, they always take care of their lead. This is now a five-point lead for the high-speed hitters. And but Joy Baron has been the best server in today's game. Mm. Also in scoring, Majoy already has 12 in attacking as well, and as well as in serving. Fajardo with another point of that push. Corner pocket, confusion there between Rachel Soltones and Bampineda. Max Wanko will uh, check in for the very first time mm -hmm. as she replaces Bank Pineda in the libero position. Joy Baron has seven points on the attack. She's got two block points, three aces. And Del Palomata, same old, same old Del. She will score 
six points. Simplicity is key yeah. for Del Palomata. He already has that height. Taas na din ang clearance ng atake niya. And uh, yung mga power tips uh, will actually go a long way for Del. Gamay na gamay na nila yung connection. And that developed quickly. Kailan lang ba nagsama si Kim Pajardo at saka si Del Palomata sa PLVT. But the connection clearly there. But a quick point there. A care of Erika Raagas. Much needed by the Akari Chargers. There's Dell. Check this time. Davison timing it. She will score. And Coach Rafi doesn't like that call. Lions judge calling a check ball in favor of. Uh, the high speed hitters. Point will go to PLDT. Line judge was saying that Tomaba gave Baliton before it went out. But there will be a challenge. It's yeah. going to be a block touch challenge. Yeah, this will be interesting to see here because very confident he goes rapido. It's clean. Ah. That challenge will be successful. Point will go to Akari. Much needed point oh, yeah. actually for Akari. That's a good challenge. Sigurado, sigurado si Coach Rafi doon. Napatayo siya eh. Napalapit talaga siya sa referee. Five point deficit for Akari. Alomata again with the power this time. Good pick up by Baraginot. Chance ball. PLDT. Palomata. Stopped. Look at Arado knowing where to be. Outside set. Agas gets the ball through. Davison. Sultones with a pick up. Agas again goes all out a little too much, but there is a check ball. Yeah, that's going to be a point for Akari. Uh, really a hard fought rally there. Can I get up and leave puntos nayon? It was actually a miss hit from uh, Erika Agas. There was a lot of backspin, but uh, somebody touched that ball. <laughs> we have a timeout. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20th only on NBA TV Philippines. One Sports at Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on signal. You know, it's not going to happen in this game because they're ahead two sets to none. But I have yet to see uh, Coach Raul's ruffled feathers. Para hindi siya, hindi siya nasa stress eh, no? They are up by four points. They are up by two sets. So, uh, kalmado pa lang oh. talaga si Coach Raul. Davison again. 
It's a cut shot by Savvy. And she managed a double digit game. Savvy Davidson already with 10 points. And we are at 16 points for PLDT 11 for Akari timeout. Arena Plus, Asting, Susports. 16-11 PLDT with a five-point lead. We are in the fifth sports arena. Your first game after the Easter break. Chiquiro Puno with Neil Flores. Let's see Rodriguez to complete our panel. Coming up, we have Chocobucho going up against the Galleries Tower High Risers. We were talking off cam also, or off uh, during the break about Kim Kiana D. Also a part of the uh, PLDT lineup now. Imagine how much stronger they'll be with her 100% already after her injury. Santiago Manabat will score one for the Chargers on the right pin. And you see Akari really fighting for the points. They have not been tentative. They have really been putting all the effort here to try to catch up to PLDT in this must-win third set. Davison, good pick up by Raagas. Davison will go again, and this time she goes the other way, but too much. That down the line. There was a net violation on one of the blockers mm. of Akari, so point will still go to PLDT. Ah. They're inching closer to that 25-point mark. Well, that is a break for PLDT. They don't really need the breaks. They have been earning their points just fine. Slide attack, and that's good for Fifi Sharma. They can use a couple more of those. That's six for Sharma today. Mas magandang chances ng Akari when they go to the slide attacks compared to the basic A quick attacks. Kasi pag A quick, nasa harapan mo na agad si Del Palomata, hindi na siya gumagalaw. Ragas coming off the bench today but contributing heavily for Akari. Combination attack. Good read by the Chargers. Oh, that was outside. Too long. Sarah. No check ball. That one is clean. Oh, block touch challenge. Challenge. touch. They have a challenge to give. The last one was successful for Akari. Why not? At this point, Coach Ravi is just uh, buying some time. Para kahit pa paano, matigil yung momentum ng high speed hitters. Like, it was really outside for Eric Caragas. As expected, that will be an unsuccessful challenge for the Kari Chargers. Del Palomata will now serve for PLC. Kari Chargers players have yet to reach double digits. None of them are at that point yet. Dindin Manabat close with nine points. Meantime, 
On the other side, we've got Davison and Barar already with double digits. Cobb pushing the ball over. A chance here for PLDT again. Santos, she stopped. Soltones taking it slow. <laughs> going to get a free point for a car here. The violation there from the setter, Del Palomata. <laughs> Light moment for PLDT. Hindi nga naman specialty. <laughs> Middle blocker ang uh, setting. Kaya nakaka-impress na nakita natin si Baliton kanina na nag-back set na ang ganda. Fifi Sharma with a serve here. Oh, tough serve. Wow! Look at that block. Talking about Baliton. This time showing her blocking prowess. Coming off the bench also, contributing her third point now, Rosel Balitot. Organized block from Akari Chargers. Wala na mapupuntahan pa si Viola Sebalian in that last sequence. Akari slowly but surely gaining on PLDT. Santos ends that run. Mini run by Akari and she will get the ball back. That's eight points for Erica Santos today and she is at the serve. Thinking about the depth really of PLDT's bench as we take a look at this sequence here. Sabalios going up. Cobb pushing it outside. Pick up by Kat Arado. Another chance here. Calf looking for Majoy Baron there. Baron will go again with that slide. Good defense from Akari. Soltones. Chance ball. High speed hitters. <laughs> Good pick up. Mahaba haba ito. Fajardo is pushing for the double digits. She's already at eight points, and that was uh, the longest rally of the game. We miss up Papa Isen tayo kung setter patong si Fajardo or Spiker. She has the same number of points as Erica Santos. Yeah. And she has more points compared to Del Palomata yeah. and Viola Ceballos. Right. Wow, nagalit si Gretzel Sotones, tinapos siya agad. No rally there. Gretzel Sotones just scores right away, which is what Akari, I think, needs to do at this point. These are the small adjustments na makakatulong talaga sa Akari. A while ago, Gretzel Sotones was just there on the left pin waiting for the sets of Michelle Cobb. But in transition, tinride din nilang iusog si Gretzel Sotones papunta dito sa right side. And they were successful. Oh, and over. Received there. Credit that to Mitch Cobb, who was... The point will be given to Baliton, but really it was a serving Mitch Cobb, forcing that uh, over received. Height is might <laughs> for uh, Rosel Baliton. Just a three-point deficit for Akari. Easy peasy for Majoy Baron. Already with her 13th point. Getting the ball back for PLDT. And we were mentioning earlier, as we take a look at the replay of that last play, napakalalim pa ng bench nito ng PLDT. Hindi pa natin nakikita pumasok sila Jules Samonte, si Jesse De Leon. Ayun oh, na! <laughs> Rhea Di Makulangan, and she makes her entry. Just, this is really just a, uh, a flex. Kung mer ang dami pa, ang dami pa naming baon. Marami pa kami hindi na ilalabas. Of course, we mentioned KKD, who is... Uh, still recovering. Off, yeah, still recovering. You also have uh, Jovi Prado. Jovi Prado. And Mika Reyes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, good footy there by Davison, but that one is outside. So just imagine the... With, with all of these players in the pink of health, just the potential. Kiseo is one of the additions also of Spa here at the PLDT side. One of the players who really made a name for herself in uh, the collegiate ranks. 
you also notice the change in the landscape of uh, teams building their rosters. Aside from uh, getting uh, um, star players para sa starting lineup nila, yung depth of the bench dini develop na din right. over time. And it really just makes for a more interesting league. And I think everybody will agree this has been uh, such a, uh, uh, a league full of surprises, a tournament full of surprises this year. And that ball will die with that uh, last attempt there at the defense. Akari still within striking distance here, but they seriously need to string along these points. Kim Fajardo has eight points, but she also has 13 excellent sets under her name. She's getting a much needed rest here with Rhea de Makulangan calling the shots for the high speed hitters. Samonte again a chance for her to score. That's inside. Samonte contributing off the bench here for PLDT. 23rd point for the high speed hitters. So, si Ban mo natin ng mga yos, katakihin natin, kailangan natin magpuro sigi sa block tsaka sa defensa. Yun ang nagiging error natin. Di ba? Dulo-dulo naman ang ginagawang play. Ang problema tayo, nagpukumit ng error. O ngayon, hindi na pwede. 23-19. So, one stop natin, 20 natin, and then, kailangan natin block or defense sa counter-attack. Diba? Okay. O, sige, one stop na agad, ha? One stop na agad. Okay, let's go. Okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Harry! Charger! They need the one stop, but then right away a conversion. Just the one stop, but a uh, string of points is what Akari needs. And balik na naman si Kim Fajardo. A chance here for her to, <laughs> to get the double digits. She already has eight points. 13 excellent sets. So good showing for Kim Fajardo today. Akari will attack first. Let's see if they can convert after that timeout. Oh, solid. That block. Well played there by Sammy Davison, and that's just painful for Akari. Well, Palomata was already late for the close-up, but uh, mas comfortable talaga si Nathan Santiago Manaba in hitting these down the line um, angles. Chance ball for PLDT. Here's match point. And that is outside. Buhay pa rin ang Akari. Down the line attempt there by Erika Santos. And this is going to be challenged by PLDT. I mean, they want to end it now. So we mentioned that it's not only the wins, but the manner in which you uh, get these wins. That will really make a difference in this latter part of our tournament. So if you can... If you can uh, Get it in three, and all the better. And I think that was the high-speed hitters is trying to accomplish here. Mm. That is inside. That is inside. <laughs> Barely in, but that's good enough. And that is a W for the high-speed hitters. Three uh, set win. Now straight ang Akari, and this is something that the high-speed hitters really want. This is a very favorable result for the high-speed hitters coming into this uh, juncture of our tournament. 25-19, the final score. We'll talk more about the match after the break.
a sweep by the PLDD High Speed hitters. And Lexi Rodriguez is with our player of the game. Go, Lexi. Thanks, Cheeky. I'm with the best player of the game, Majoy Baron, with 13 points, 8 attacks, 2 blocks, and 3 aces. Our back to back player of the game, Nanalo Kayo, on, the last, on your last game. Congratulations, Majoy. You mentioned earlier, Sakin, na parang you're still in the process of reaching your. You've, you're, you're, sorry, you're, you're yet to reach your peak in this conference and in your entire volleyball career. What's one thing that, you know, yung patuloy mong natututunan all throughout your career and yung patuloy na pagpanalo nyo in this conference? Um, for me, trusting the system lang talaga with um, Coach Rald's system and yung hard work namin sa everyday training, tinatrust ko lang yun and actually, ini-enjoy namin yung process. Well, nagkaroon kayo ng madaming time to prepare for this game and of obviously, you also have a lot of time, a lot of days to prepare for your next game. How do you make sure na you shake off any kind of rust para, you know, maganda yung laro mo sa susunod mong laro? Um, proper rest lang siguro kasi um, very competitive yung mga games. So, um, ha high level talaga every game. So, we need proper rest and then back to training, back to pag-aaral sa next games. Um, Obviously, high speed ang atake nyo sa high level of intensity here in the PBL. Meron ka bang mga gustong batian at pasalamatan? Um, first of all, um, I would like to thank all the PLDT supporters, the PLDT management, yung family ko sa Tarla, Kilatam, Tito G, and Max, Gloy, Sha, hello, and sa ati ko sa US, hello. Congratulations again, join to the rest of the high speed hitters. Let's close this up, Chiki and Neil. Thanks a lot, Lexi, and back-to-back -back POG title for Bajoy Baron. Let's take a look at the match highlights here. Uh, Neil, what did you like? Madame. <laughs> <laughs> On the side of the high-speed hitters, uh, they flexed their system against the Akari Chargers. And in all aspects of the game, I would say that they were able to follow the game plan of Coach Valdrick Afford. Yung heavy serves, that is their characteristic. Ranking again, number two serving yeah. team, but with the aces today, pwedeng umangat pa yan. And uh, aside from that, uh, the blocking was also present for PLDT. Their defense was anchored by Kat Arado. Dun sa mga times na lumalagpas sa uh, first line of defense. And uh, attacking is not a problem anymore for PLD. Yeah. Sabi ko nga, team song nila in the past few conferences always is, uh, almost is never enough. Wow. Rather, but <laughs> now, you can see that they have all of these options pagdating yeah. sa offense. And they also flex that by dominating the tax department. And uh, they will tie the win-loss record of the Cream Light Cool Smashers. They will go up 6 and 1. So it really is a tight race to the semifinals. Uh, well, for Akari, they still got their numbers pagdating sa kill blocks, but the unforced errors were uh, too much. 19 in uh, three sets, I would say, na madami yon. That's almost one set given to your opponent. And uh, for Akari, di pa naman tapos yung season. Yeah. They will still challenge the other teams in their schedule. And uh, they can be the spoilers <laughs> yeah. dun sa upper half of the standings. As for the high-speed hitters, they will also focus in their remaining games kasi mabibigat din uh -oh. yung makakaharap nila. Yeah, as we said, Neil, this is really a favorable result for PLDT. And interestingly enough, without the heavy uh, lifting of Savannah Davison because she only scored... Uh, 11 points today, which uh, is not bad. She didn't have a bad game. It's just the others really just uh, took over and did all the scoring and it was spread out. And uh, that is something that Coach Shroud, I'm sure, is happy about. And we are getting ready for our next game. The Gallery Star High Risers going up against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans right here at the Phil Sports Arena. Neil Flores, Lexi Rodriguez, it's been great. This has been Chiki Ro Puno. And on behalf of uh, the men and women of Signal Sports, our director Marvin Chavez, thanks for joining us. Stay right there for our main game tonight.